Our final speaker is a Calgary-based performer, theater maker, and voice actor. When she isn't performing, she is artistic producer at Handsome Alice Theatre, a company devoted to unleashing women's voices. Welcome to the stage, Meg Farrell. Okay, you guys, oh my god. I'm like, um, like I'm a voice actor, so I like to bring it in on the mic. Um, okay, so uh, I wrote a, um, okay, 20 things about me and how I got here, like literally right here. And then I think I'm going to fail, so I just want to put that out there. And um, so this title is um, Count Me In, Combine Your Passions, and Count Me In, Risk to Fail. Okay. So this is me, um, and when I heard the theme count me in, it made me think of feminism and how my work and my heart uh, combined forces. And what I hope the takeaway from what I'm talking about today is less about my specific accomplishments and more about how I use my heart and my head to get where I am now, which is to be a theater making activist. Okay, so um, what I've done here is you can see I make this face and then my friends had it printed onto their t-shirts. <laughs> and so, um, so this is to represent some of the questionable decisions that I've made in my life and continue to make. Um, and so that's gonna be the first half of the presentation and the second half is gonna be uh, uh, other stuff. So this <laughs> is where I grew up in Canyon Meadows. It's Babbling Brook. And uh, mostly what I did here was drink OEs, um, which is a malt liquor. Um, <laughs> that I purchased with my money that my mom gave me for my um, lunch. <laughs> then I went to theater school, and um, I'm the one with her tongue um, sticking out. <laughs> and you can see we were very studious, and it was, and so I did that twice, actually. I went to theater school twice. Um, and you can see we were very proud artists and very serious actors. Anyway, then I went to school again to become a teacher. And um, so this is my representation of, of that. I think we're all, many of us are familiar uh, with this. I did not like teaching and I did not remain a teacher. <laughs> uh, so this one makes me a little bit uh, uncomfortable. There we go. Okay, so what I did was I quit my teaching job right in the recession and <laughs> And you can see here, the recession was hard on a lot of us, and I didn't record any of that with visual images or anything, and I found this stock image, and I didn't credit the person who um, took that picture, so I apologize. There we go. Good. Okay, so then I quit my job. I started a, a, a comedy company, and I got a job selling tickets, uh, which was my um, introduction to... Um, arts administration. But also, this scene was called Too Many Grandmas, and you can see here that there's way too many grandmas uh, in the scene. So uh, then I became a professional actor, and you can tell because they put my name right on the bottom of the um, picture. Uh, and I got an agent, and, and so that was super fun. Um, and I still do that, and I actually still use this headshot, although I might be aging out of it. <laughs> but I... I do still have that lip gloss. Okay, so okay. <laughs> then I started getting hired, and you can see some of my work here. I was a nun on Winona Earp with the bleeding hands, and then I was an alien, and then I was in a yoga class with very tight pants that ripped open, and they put the camera over my face to capture that uncomfortable moment, and then I was a finger-pointing lawyer. <laughs> so this is the transitional part, and this is a picture of a butterfly that I took when I was um, in PEI. I've lost my page altogether. I have no idea what's... Oh, there's a thing. Number 10. Along with these sides, um, I created things that I did and decisions that I made were influences in my personal life that happened to help. So uh, this is the shift. There we go. When I was growing up here in Calgary and all the shenanigans and OE drinking in Babbling Brook, I made a really good group of friends. And this is a stock uh, photography representation of <laughs> what good friends we all are because none of the pictures that I have of any of them are appropriate for tonight. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> um, sadly, when I was in university, one of them was murdered by her boyfriend. And this ended up happening two more times in my life, losing friends and colleagues to domestic violence. And I was shocked to find out how common this was in our country, and it lit a fire under me. 
it actually turned me into uh, an angry feminist. And um, you can tell I'm angry feminist because of the feminist badge that I have here and my she, her pronouns buttons that I wear on my jean jacket and that I would fit right in with this uh, group of gals. And um, I like wearing my pink toque. Oh my goodness, it moved right on. And um, okay, so here we go. One in three Albertans will experience domestic violence in their lifetime. And um, it is preventable and it is prevalent, and I will use any opportunity that I can to share this information. So there's your domestic violence uh, fact of the day. So as an angry feminist teacher, don't worry, it's okay, I'm, we're gonna circle back around to the funny stuff, okay? Um, uh, I felt like we were failing our boys and incidents of aggression were high and, and they were tolerated where I was teaching and I didn't want to participate in that anymore. So this is the sad classroom. This is when I left that job and I, and I put the desk, the chairs on top of the desk because I didn't want to do it anymore. And that gave me time to meet people and not be at school all day where I met the person in the shadow with the hat and I married him. And he didn't mind that I was an angry feminist ticket seller. <laughs> He's very private, so that's why we use the shadow picture. <laughs> and then guess what happened? We had a baby. This is not a stock photography <laughs> image. This is my actual fruit of my loins. Um, and what happened, why I became a professional actor was because I could be a contract worker and also stay at home with her. And so, so I owe that to her. And then I had an opportunity to start working at Hans Malice Theatre and learning about how my angry feminism and being a teacher and being an artist and an actor could all come together. And just like um, Wesley in, um, uh, uh, what's that movie? Princess Bride, and he becomes Dread Pirate Roberts, I became um, Hans Malice through time. So um, then I took a picture of this daisy. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, and what it really is all about is that I found a way to be called in. I also took a picture of this heart. <laughs> and um, how many slides are there? <laughs> so anyway, count me in as an activist who got here following her heart, combining her passions and risking failure. This one's for you, Adrian and Shannon and Alyssa.